so welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're going to be making a really cute tiny project. I've just been in the mood to make a few more smaller things because most of my pieces can be quite large and I just wanted to make something cute and tiny. So I'm going to be making some flying frogs. I'm going to be making a few of them because I'm going to be doing molds for this and in the future if these end up doing really well I'll make more of different colors. But right now we're just going to make some nice green flying frogs. Anyways, let's get started. So my flying frog is going to be on the more fantasy side. I do know that there is a species of flying frog which is really cool. Basically the webbing between their toes will actually spread out and they'll use those to glide around. But this one is just going to be a really cute frog with some wings on its back. Just something very different and it was a little bit inspired by a character from a video game I used to play when I was a child called Dark Cloud 2. There were little frog type creatures with wings in that game, but the uh, anatomy of the creature was a lot different. This is just kind of my interpretation of it. Also, the species of frog that I'm using as reference for this is a tree frog. I'm not going super tree froggy with it, but I do like the more chubby body style of the frog, so I'm going to try and emulate that with this piece. So right now, I'm just working on making the clay face. I laid out my clay, made a rough shape, and I'm just trying to figure out where I want the facial features. One thing that I decided to do with the eyes is I'm going to just use some resin pieces that are a bit more oval in style. I wanted the eyes to have that ovalness to it and look a little bit squished, so I went with that shape for the eyes, and then I just kind of framed around it to make the eyelids and started working on other features like the ears, or the ear holes and I made a few little folds around that to make it look like he had like fat ripples. I roughly sketched out the shape of the mouth, tried to figure out where I wanted it. For this, I decided that I wanted it nice and even, so I made sure that both sides matched each other, and then I used my tools to really define the shape of it and to clean up the look of the mouth. I also made some nostril holes, just something very simple as well. And then once I had all the features laid out and cleaned up, I worked on adding a texture to the face. Nothing really fancy or anything like that, I just used a dotting tool to give it more of a more lumpy texture to it. Just tried to make it look a little bit more amphibian and not super, super smooth, but I still wanted to leave it kind of smooth. And I'm going to put our clay head in the oven once I'm done with it for about 45 minutes at 275 Fahrenheit. Okay, now we're going to move on to making the frog's feet. We need a pair for the front and back. Now normally with this I would have all the toes spread out and I would use wires to lay them out and stuff like that, but I want to make molds for this so I can make multiple frogs. And I figured the easiest way to cast the toes in resin would be to have all the toes put together. I just wanted to make it easier on myself. I didn't want to have to worry about having a mistake happen when I casted the mold. So for the toes, I'll slowly add them to my clay frame for the foot. I'm going to take a strip of clay for each toe. I'm going to roll it out where one end will be kind of bulbous. That will be the tip of the toe, and I'm going to connect it to the rest of the foot. And I'm just going to do this one at a time with each toe, get it all laid out at the correct length for each toe, blend it, clean up the edges, and just kind of move the toes around until I have them in the position that I want them in. Now while I'm making both the front and back feet, you're probably going to notice that the toes are just a little off. And I guess I 
I should have double checked my references because I just didn't think about it and frogs normally have only four toes in the front and of course they still have five toes in the back but the layout is a little bit different. So I ended up having to change this after I baked them. I just kind of removed the extra toe um, with the back feet I had to remove a toe and then add a new toe and I just kind of fixed what I did wrong <laughs> and then I ended up casting everything in um, silicone so I can make the mold. But yeah, when I ended up baking the clay feet, I baked them at the same time and temp as the head at 275 Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes. And then once I was done baking the molds, I pulled all the clay pieces out and I poured my resin into the molds and casted all the pieces that I needed. I decided I was going to make three frogs, so you'll see roughly about that many pieces laying about while we work on the painting. Now I did add a green pigment to the resin when I was casting everything, but it didn't quite match the fabric that I wanted to use for my frogs. So I'm going to try and color match as close to that as possible and then I'm going to paint over all of my clay pieces. Once that green layer is dried and everything is nice and clean, I'm going to start adding a bit of a highlight. So what I did for this was I just kind of brightened up the green that I was currently using by adding more of a yellow to it and then I just went over the areas that I wanted to brighten up. So the very front of the face I decided that I wanted brighter and then for the feet I wanted the toes, the very tips of them, to be brighter as well. And then to add a little bit more detail to our pieces, I decided I wanted to have a darker kind of speckly effect. So I'm going to take a dotting tool and I'm going to use a dark green and I'm just going to add little dots of this on the front of the face. For the face, I kind of laid them out like freckles would be. And then for the feet, I just added them to more of the wrist and uh, base of the foot area. I also decided that I wanted to have a little bit of a pink detailing, so around the nostrils and mouth of the frog I went over it with kind of a more metallic pink to kind of bring out those features. And I also did the same thing to the tips of the toes and the base of the palm or the bottom of the foot. Okay, so I think I'm done with all the feet. I've got all four of them done for all three of the frogs, and I just need to finish up the face. So the last bit of detail that I need to add on the face is the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically trace around the shape of the eye with some black paint because I want the outer portion of the eye to be black. And then after that, I'm going to take kind of a lighter brown color and I'm gonna fill in the eye. I'm going to make sure that it's completely dry and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fine tip liner and I'm going to sketch out the shape of the pupils. I'm going to make sure that I have them nice and even so both of them are in the correct spot and then I'm going to fill that in with some black paint. I find that using a fine tip liner really helps lay out the pupils when you're painting your eyes and make them as even as possible. So I'm going to get all my eyes finished for all three of the frogs and then I'm going to apply a thin layer of resin over everything to help protect the paint. So everything's going to cure overnight so while we're waiting on that we can start on sewing the bodies. So this is the pattern that I'm going to use to make our frogs. I've left it pretty simple. We mainly have the body piece, which is going to be used for the top and bottom. We have some front leg pieces, some back leg pieces. The back legs are going to have two different pieces that are slightly off because the ones on the outer side are going to have to be a little bit longer to cover up his butt. But other than that, they're pretty much exactly the same. And then we have some pieces of fabric for the sides of the body, and lastly, his wings. So let's get started on the wings first. So the wings are going to have two pieces. We're going to have a top and a bottom. We're going to sandwich these two pieces together with the fuzzy side of the fabric, the outer side on the inside, and we're just going to trace around this with our sewing machine. Now make sure to leave the base of this open, because once you're done sewing, you're going to have to flip this right side out. And 
And then for the decoration on the wings itself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out what I want to sew onto some stabilizer fabric and then I'm going to pin that to our wing and follow those lines with my sewing machine. Then I just need to rip away my stabilizing fabric and our wings are done. And then for the fabric for the arms and legs, we're just going to take both sides of each and we're going to sew down the fronts of them. So I'm just going to pin those together and then sew down the fronts with the sewing machine as well. For the body, we have two pieces for that and the sides, so I'm going to pick which one is going to be the back of the frog, and I'm going to sew the sides of the body onto this piece. The belly piece will be actually the last piece that we'll add to the frog. So I'm going to get those three pieces sewn together, and then I'm going to figure out where the wings are going to connect on the back of the frog. I'm going to sketch that out, cut some holes for it, slide the wings into place, and I'm going to stitch them into place on the back of the frog. Now we need to add the fabric for the legs and arms. So I'm going to start with the back legs first. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew these two pieces together at the base of them. And then once we have them put together, we're then going to sew them at the end of the body. So I'm just going to connect them down here. And then for the fabric for the arms, before we connect them to the body, we're going to take our hands and we're going to glue them in place at the end of the fabric. So I'm going to just use a little bit of fabric glue. I'm going to wrap the fabric around the base of this, let it dry, and then we're going to sew these closed and stuff them. After that, we're going to connect them to the body just like we did with the wings. So we're going to mark out where they're going to connect on the sides of the body. We're going to end up cutting some little slits, putting the fabric in place, and then stitching everything together. And then we can also add the feet to the ends of the back legs, just like we did with the hands. So I'm just going to glue those in place, and then we can stuff and close those up as well. And then once the hands and feet are done, we just need to add the head and close everything up. So I'm going to take our resin head and I'm going to start gluing the fabric of the body around the base of it. And then we're going to take our belly piece and we're going to glue it at the very bottom portion of the head. Let everything dry and then we can stuff and close this up as well. And then our frog is all done. Okay guys, and here are our little flying frogs. I was able to make three of them. All of these are going to be in my Etsy shop, so if anyone wants to buy one of them, go ahead and check the links down below for that. But I think they came out super cute. They are floppy, so there's no wire frames or anything, and all the pieces are resin, so they're very durable. I do think in the future if I make more, I might try out a wire frame just to see if it changes the look of the body, because also the wings they're very cute, but I feel like it'd be fun if they could kind of stand up a little bit more. And then I also have links to a bunch of different art supplies, so if you want to try and make your own art dolls, I've got all the different art supplies that I like to use to make my art dolls linked down below. Now these are affiliated links, so they do help support the channel if you get anything through them. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!